Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, I hope you're all doing well. It's good to see you again. I'm going to try to keep this a little shorter. I got a little long last time. Uh, one of my favorite chapters in the New Testament is Luke chapter 15. It's, it's a beautiful chapter. It's about a lost sheep, a lost coin, and a lost son. And uh, the whole chapter, I think, really brings out how strong of a love Jesus has for lost people. You know, we were all lost at one time, and I'm so glad that the Lord, the Lord came after us. Uh, in, in the parable of the lost sheep, you know, he leaves the 99, and uh, he goes after that one that was lost. That's just a beautiful picture in itself, if you do the math, you know, I mean, one lost sheep, and he'll go after that person, that, that one. And, and in the parable, when he finds it, he lays it on his shoulders, you know, that picture of uh, Jesus carrying a little lamb on his shoulders. Very beautiful picture. But that's how God loves people when they're lost, you know, they don't know the way. They haven't found him. And um, he bring, puts it on his shoulders. He rejoices on his way home. And then he throws a party uh, to rejoice with his friends. And it's just a beautiful picture. The next little parable in, in Luke, Luke chapter 15 is about the lost coin and this lady had 10 silver coins and she had lost one of them and so she um, searched diligently. Uh, I like how the Bible you know, uh, uses words like that, seeks diligently. That's what God does. He'll seek you diligently if, you, if you're lost or if somebody's lost. He diligently will seek for you. I'm so glad that he does that. So she finds that coin after she searches diligently and she throws another party, you know, because she was happy and she wanted her friends to rejoice with her. And, and the Bible says that there's joy in heaven when even just one sinner repents and finds the Lord Jesus. So it's just a beautiful picture of the Lord's love. But uh, uh, the favorite one of many people is about the lost son, the prodigal son. And <clears throat> I read that again today, and I love the part about when that boy uh, came to himself and tried to head back home <clears throat> and uh, returned to his father. Uh, the Bible says that when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. I always liked that phrase, when he was a great way off. You know, you and I rub shoulders and, and, and interact with Sometimes people that are a great way off, they're, they're, they're so far from God and they don't know God, they don't love God, they don't know, believe in Him, and, and they're just struggling along in the darkness. Um, I work with some juvenile boys sometimes, and you know, some of these boys are uh, really a, a long way off, but yet I sense the Lord's love for them. They're kind of like fatherless boys. And Anyway, uh, I like that. Well, while this boy was a great way off, the father saw him and had compassion, ran, fell on his neck and kissed him. And then, you know, uh, basically, uh, he wanted to throw a party. His son had come home. His son hadn't done anything at all, yet he had done nothing to deserve the reception that he got from his loving father. But uh, the father just wanted to throw a party and rejoice. He was so happy because it, to him it was like his son had been dead and now he was alive again. And, it's just a beautiful picture of, um, you know, the Lord's love for people. And I just have a, a, a song that I, I heard uh, years ago. <clears throat> it's called Jesus, You Are Beautiful. Uh, I believe it was written by a man named Gary Edward Sadler and John Mark Hartley. <clears throat> and it was sung uh, beautifully by a man named Slater Armstrong. And uh, it's called Jesus, You Are Beautiful. Source of life to wood and stream, Sovereign Lord and gentle King, More than we could ever dream, You are beautiful. 
Father to the fatherless, the healer of our brokenness. How you fill our emptiness, you are beautiful. Jesus, you are beautiful. There is none to compare with you. Show your love to me, it gives me grace to see. You are everything my heart desires. You are beautiful. Son of God upon the cross, tasting death for all of us, reaching out when we were lost. You are beautiful, risen lamb upon the throne, roaring lion coming soon, every eye will see it's true, you are beautiful, Jesus, you are beautiful, there is none to compare with you. Jesus, you are beautiful, and you show your love to me, it gives me grace to see, you are everything my heart desires, you are beautiful. Jesus, you are beautiful. There is none to compare with you. Jesus, you are beautiful and you show your love to me. It gives me grace to see you are everything my heart desires. You are beautiful. Amen. In Psalm 90, written by Moses, he said, Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. You know, it's just a really good word to try to describe the love of Christ. It's a beautiful love. None of us will ever deserve it, um, but his love transcends uh, all of our failures. What a wonderful Savior we have. Jesus is beautiful. I hope that he blesses you today. God bless you. Talk to you next time.